Hey, it's Jake Mace, the vegan athlete. I got all this stuff in front of me that came from my garden. And for all the people out there who are gardeners or plant-based athletes or vegans, whatever you are out there, this is gonna be a worthwhile video for you guys to watch all the way to the end because I'm gonna show you something really cool about this. These are loofah. Loofah is a sponge. And a lot of girls out there know that you exfoliate with loofah. Even some of my guy friends exfoliate with loofah nowadays, right? But loofah does not grow in the ocean like most people think it does. I just did a video at the Arizona Vegetarian Festival and I met a girl who calls herself the Sweet Simple Vegan. And she was saying how she watched a gardening video of mine where I collaborated with High Carb Hannah and in the video we showed loofah. And she was blown away that the loofah was on a plant that was climbing up the wall of my house. Yes, loofah is a vining plant. It can climb a trellis. And in the summertime, it loves the heat. It puts off beautiful yellow flowers. In their small state, the young loofah fruits can be eaten like zucchini or cucumber. And when they get big like this, they're no longer edible per se, but they can be used as a cloth or an exfoliation tool or a sponge. So I'm gonna show you guys what we do here. We got some loofah here in front of me. This one is brown. It's really, really ready to harvest. I can just crinkle up the skin and watch what happens. When I peel it off, look how the sponge is underneath there. And that's the loofah part. So if the camera holds on me for one second, I'll time lapse this and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's peeled. There we go, I did half. So you guys can see half of the skin still on it. And now this half is the sponge. As soon as water touches this, it becomes soft and spongy. Excellent for cleaning in the kitchen, excellent for using in the shower. And if you guys wanna make it white, you can put a little bit of a sink full of some water and some bleach and then we'll whiten it up. If you don't wanna use bleach, you don't have to, just keep it brown. It will always work well for you as an exfoliation tool or a cleaning tool. I love growing my own towels. But then what happens is too, is I can grow loofah for free for the rest of my life. Because if I turn it this way and give it a little bit of a shake, what happens is that all these little soldiers come flying out of the plant or out of the fruit. And these are the loofah seeds. See, they're actually black, but they have a husk on them. And each one of these seeds will grow an entire new vine for the next season. So I have my bowl here, I'm gonna put all the loofah seeds into the bowl. I'm gonna save like 10 or 15 for myself and I'll grow them starting in April in the Phoenix area, maybe like late March in the Phoenix area. If you guys are in a colder climate, grow it in summertime. And what will happen is that the seeds that I plant for my own loofah will be more tolerant of my hot, arid, desert, Sonoran climate than seeds that came from like Maine or Oregon. So I always recommend you guys grow plants and then save the seeds, plant your own seed because your grandbaby plants will grow better than their grandparents did. I'm gonna take all the extra seeds that I get. I have a lot of loofah here. I have a whole bucket full of loofah and they're all fantastic. This one's enormous. I love it. I'm gonna take all the extra seeds and put them in the seed bank box. So if you guys go to seedbankbox.com and sign up for my monthly seed surprise program, I'm gonna have some loofah that came from my loofah plants in the seed bank box, probably in the April box. So in a month or two from now. I love sharing my seeds with gardeners and the seed bank box is a great vehicle for me to share the seeds I love and the seeds I grow with you guys. You guys go vegan and grow that food at your home in your front and your backyard, including grow your sponges at home like my loofah. I'll see you guys at my Urban Gardening in Arizona Facebook group, or you can message me at my social media, Jake Mace Tai Chi on Snapchat and on Instagram. Subscribe to this channel for my next video. It'll be out soon, and I'll see you guys back here next time. Hey, bonus scene for you guys. We're back inside the kitchen and we just took the skin off all the loofah, took the seeds out, washed them, and cut them in half. 
So now, this one in particular looks like a legitimate loofah, like one you would get in the store. These are not man-made when you see these, and they're not ocean uh, animals or something. They're a vine that can grow in your garden. So these are homegrown, Jake Mays Vegan Athlete Longevity Gardens loofah. And now we can use some in the shower for dishes, for cleaning, exfoliating, whatever. All natural, grown at home, totally free. And we planted our own seeds. These were seeds that we planted in years past. And so now my loofah are more tolerant of my backyard. Go vegan, grow your food at home, and I'll see you guys next time. And hopefully I'll look younger because my pores will be healthier.